Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Nascent Toy Collector. I hope you're having a great day. I know I am. Adam here along with Super 7 Ultimates, Thundercats, Chitara. About time. This thing is awesome. It's finally arrived and you know I just love these boxes. My gosh, they're amazing. If you checked out my video the other day with Tigra, then you know I absolutely love these things. I've also done lion -O and I've done Panthro as well. I'm just in love with the Super 7 Ultimates Thundercats. And man, I cannot wait to get into this. First though, let's check out... Oh, <laughs> too excited. First of all, let's check out this awesome box. Man, they always knock this out of the park. Check that out. Man, Chitar looks great. That is awesome. Looks straight out of the, well, I mean, not straight out of the cartoon. It's obviously got more modern painting going on here. It looks really, really, really cool though. Let's read the captions and then we'll get into this action figure. The brave and noble Chitara is the fastest of the Thundercats and possesses the ability to run with lightning fast speed. She was actually clocked, I believe, at 120 miles per hour just jogging. Anyway, Though she is often the voice of reason, Chitara is also an agile fighter. Her speed is particularly formidable when combined with offensive attacks from her bow staff. Furthermore, Chitara possesses a sixth sense, a mystical psychic ability which enables her to sense evil and have visions of the past and the future. And that comes into play big time in the 1985 cartoon series. Man, totally rad. Let's look at the, oh yeah. See, man, they really, they really do such a good job. Got the mirror of truth, got the uh, the magical flute and the locket of lies here. Look at all the accessories packed in there. Can't wait to get in there. And there's something new for this series. We have like a uh, flame, like a flame looking uh, effect back there. I'm interested to see what that does. I think that goes on to her bow staff, which is proudly presented right there. Anyway, you guys, I've been waiting a minute to check this one out and I cannot wait any longer. Let's get into it. Gonna have to cut this tape. And there she is, and let me just say, wow. I don't know if the video is doing this thing any justice whatsoever, but this is a very, very nicely done action figure. I mean, wow, the paint deck on this thing's really, really nice, really subtle. You know, you go from the orange into her skin tone here, and it just it works really well. And honestly, the joint here is kind of hidden, like, you know, where she swivels up, up high. It's, it's, it's almost hidden by the, I don't know, she has a very basic, you know, basic, simple costume design, but man, it, 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 it just works though. Wow. I mean, this is a really nice action figure. I really, really like the way it feels in my hands and everything. And man, yeah. Wow. I re I'm really digging it. Like the paint deco is really nice. I mean, look at that. She even has spots under her neck there, spots in her hair, just like in the cartoon. She's got her spots prevalent on her shoulders. So let's check out her articulation. Her head is, of course, on a swivel like, like most modern toys these days, which is nice, very nice. It uh, can spin around, you know, look around. Like all the Thundercats, though, she, well, she can look down better than, she, than most of them, but she can't look up. Of course, that is stopped by her hair. I mean, I, I kind of get that. Kind of cool. Um... She does have full range shoulders, of course. They can move all the way around and up and down and all that good stuff. Here's a notable difference, though. Unlike the, her male counterparts, she does not have a bicep swivel. In, instead, she completely rotates at the elbow, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's that works too, you know? Like, it's a, it's a very functional joint. It, she seems to have much more range of motion than Tigra did, if you'll check that out there. I mean, that seems, that's a lot more range of motion. Of course, Tigra has bulky muscles and stuff that kind of get in the way of the articulation, and that's, I'm sure, part of it. She does, of course, have a slot here, which we'll get into her accessories here in a second. You can see the slot there, though. Very cool. Um, this arm, of course, has the same range of motion, and she has hinged at the wrist, and her wrist spin, of course, which is, which is normal for these kind of awesome action figures. She doesn't twist at the hips because that would have created a line across this simple costume. And, you know, this thing's designed for speed, baby. I mean, she is super fast. Like I said, 120 miles an hour. That's at a jog. So who knows how fast she can actually run. Now, of course, her thighs move back and forth and move out side to side, which they do. They do move a lot better again than Tigers did. 
So this thing was actually sent back to the factory. Um, it was due out actually before COVID-19 in wave three, which came out in 2021. But when Super 7 and Brian Flynn, they got it um, back from the from the factory, they, they didn't like the way it turned out. And so they sent it back to be retooled and this is what we got. Now, I think the hips were the first major concern. And this thing has really nicely jointed hips, better than Tiger's, like I've already stated there. Let's check out the knees though. The knees are where I first, look at that. Now, if you'll, if you'll remember, when I was demonstrating Tiger's knees, they do not move this well. Like, not at all. And I keep talking about Tiger. Let's just bring him out here. So, Tiger's knees and his arms. So, so, look at his elbows. Like, his elbows can only bend that far. Hers move a whole lot more than that. Or they, they, they at least seem like they do. And then his knees. I mean, that's it. That's all you get with his knees. Let's just see that again. That and that. That's, that's all you get, really. Hers, well, he does kind of get... Yeah, he does kind of get straighter than straight there. It looks broken. But, yeah. Her her motion is a lot more than that. So, very cool. And then, of course, she's got her ankles. Wow, look at that. I mean, look how forward it can go. It's a really... Of course, you know, she's got to be posed running. Uh, I don't know. It'd be awesome if you could pose her that way. So, she can't look up enough to have her, like, really running. But, oh, well. Of course, she has the... Fully uh, articulated ankles. They don't really move side to side as much. They're just a little bit, which I don't, I mean, typically not going to have her pose. Well, I don't know. She does. She's a badass fighter, but yeah. And so there she is. She has great articulation, as you saw. She has a very, very high range of motion, which I think is very cool for a figure like this. Very nice. Um, hopefully that can continue in this brand. And she also, you know, she has all of her little features she has her little bangles there and she has her spot for her her bow staff which speaking of her bow staff let's take a look at her accessories first up we have a variant head this one with windswept hair for her for you can have chitara in motion she would have that hair blowing back of course which is this looks awesome i mean look at all the fine detail in it i do wish it kind of had a wash to it so it kind of you know the individual strands would stand out more but it does have the the cheetah spots so i'll i will give it that the eyes look really nice everything's really painted nicely i really i really like it i mean she could have had like maybe a you know i'm exerting myself facial expression but you know overall i i do dig that really cool she also comes with a first in the super seven ultimates line a summoned face you see her eyes now apparently her eyes glow in the dark which I have not tested that feature as I have not let the eyes charge up, so to speak. As you, I don't know if you guys remember, you ever had glow in the dark toys, but you had to let them, you had to let the glow in the dark plastic charge up like in the light before you could turn out the lights and see it glow. Really cool though, a really good idea. This is something that I think has been missing from the entire line of Thundercats is the summoned look. You know, when Lionel holds up the sword and says, ho, their eyes light up. And that's something that they should really be, I think, including with... They need to go back in and do a Panthro summoned and a um, Tigra summoned and get Bengali. I don't know if Bengali has one. I don't know if Pumira has one. But, you know, they all need a summoned look. And finally, Chitara has one. Pretty awesome. Very nice detail on that. I dig it. Now... She also comes with a variety of hands. And as you can see here, she has closed fists, which are really nice. She's going to just pummel the shit out of someone. She also came with clawing hands. for You can have her clawing her way out of a fight. You know, scratching hands there. She has open hands, which I think are pretty awesome for running. Obviously, this would be a running hand. She has both sides there open. And of course... She has two gripping hands and they can, I'm sure, grip all of her wonderful weapons and accessories. Now, of course, I'm going to have to switch out a hand here, take off her right hand. And of course, I would say that this comes right off and it does. So you guys got to be careful. Make sure her bangle stays on there when you insert one of her open hands. Yeah, fits very nicely. Of course, I expected that it would. And you can give her her bow staff, her awesome 
awesome bow staff. She's a badass with this weapon. She she's like Donatello, you know. She whooped the shit out of you with this this thing. I always liked how it would grow. You know, she could grow it basically to any size whatsoever. What like whatever kind of Thundercats weapons or whatever fits the plot, right? They're kind of MacGuffins, and that's okay with me. I don't think that's a bad deal at all. Looks really cool, man. Yeah, that's totally rad. All right, so there's her bow staff, and of course you also get the miniaturized version of her bow staff. You know how she would store it right here. This is cool. It snaps right into that spot on her bracer, which is just rad. Now, I don't think you should ever have both displayed at once, of course. She would she would take it out of here if she was going to be holding on to it. I, I do not think that it fits in her hand. No, it doesn't. But that's okay because this one is not for being held. It's for just snapping right there into her bracer. So that's really cool. I really like that. Let's see here. She also came with the Mirror of Truth, which is really nicely decoed. Has some really nice paint on it. You can see the Thundercat logo on it. This was found on New Thundera. And this mirror shows the user truth. Hey, look at that. You can see me in there. It actually works as a mirror. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. So it would do the same for Chitara. So this, yeah, this, this mirror was found on New Thundera and is used to see through disguises. And look at this, really cool. Like she can actually look at herself in there. Really pretty awesome. I really dig that. That's a really nice little feature. I like that they pack in things that are from a certain episode from the series. You know, that really makes these things feel more, I don't know, toyetic or maybe, I don't know, makes he, maybe it makes them more nostalgic. I don't know. Anyway, we also have the magical flute that, that came with her. This thing uh, is used to control animals, notably Snarf. He can be controlled by this flute, uh, as can, let's see, Mamut. I think it's can, he gets controlled by this thing. So this is a really neat thing that is included with Chitara here, the magical flute. And one more thing, I'm just going to set her, let's see, stand her up here. She also came with... This amulet. Now she came with, it's actually called the Locket of Lies, is what it's called. And you get an open one showing the insides of it, like a ruby red there. Really nicely done. It's, it's got a awesome detail to it. And it comes with a string so you can hang it from her hands. And I'm sure, you know, you'd use one of the open hands for this and she, you could hang it from her hand like that. Really cool. And she also comes with the closed version. And it's really funny, if you look at the details, at least I bought this thing from, from Big Bad Toy Store online, and the details actually refer to this as a communicator, which is kind of funny. Uh, the Turtles, they absolutely, you know, the TMNT Ultimates, they absolutely come with communicators, but the Thundercats, they didn't really roll with uh, communicators. So it's kind of funny, both Super 7 and Big Bad Toy Store note this locket of lies as a communicator now what it actually is is a locket that is that was designed by mum Ra to lure the thundercats into a trap pretty pretty funny stuff pretty funny that the manufacturer themselves made that kind of mistake anyway also one last thing we have is the flaming deco that i guess goes on the end of the staff because that's how it fits and i guess that that would be for you know her spinning it so fast that it's starting to catch on fire pretty badass um probably won't be using that though it's very heavy kind of bulky um but cool nonetheless that they included that let's see chitara posed up with the rest of the thundercats oh man isn't that badass oh wow look at oh shit they look so awesome together oh man i love how scaled she is now she is perfectly scaled i think her height and her musculature is perfectly done she looks great like this looks just like the 85 cartoon which is exactly what i wanted now if i could just get wily kit wily cat and a snarf oh my god i have the og thundercats completed oh my god yes they look so fucking great together i'm so pumped about this so fucking awesome god i'm so very satisfied with the chitara action figure and I mean, just the whole the whole line in general is so badass, so worth the wait. Well, I didn't wait that long. I think I pre-ordered her like four months ago. So, you know, still, I believe this action figure totally worth the wait. 
don't believe anyone naysaying this thing. It's 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 actually rad. I love it, and I can't wait for more from Super Seven in this Ultimates line of Thundercats. Yes, I also I have ordered a slide since my last video because I have to have him. I think I might have mentioned that in uh, the Tiger video. But anyway, man, these guys are so badass. Oh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for checking out my ever-growing toy collection. Adam out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.